Hi, I'm Warren Buckleiter, editor of Children's Technology Review, and today I'm looking at the iClops, a $50 TV microscope that comes out next month from toy maker Jack Specific. Here's how it works. Uh, first thing you do is you put five AA batteries in the base here, and then you turn on the power, plug in the composite video of your television, that's the yellow plug, and you're ready to go. At this point, the fun begins. That TV screen becomes a giant magnification of the miniature. For example, this is the weave of the fabric of my shirt. Here's some salt crystals. You can see the perfectly square structure of sodium chloride. Compare that, that with the more random structure of sugar crystals. And then the more chaotic uh, substance here, that's artificial sweetener. So while this stuff is supposed to taste like sugar, it certainly doesn't look like sugar. Other fun things to explore, a common house sponge. So let's have a look at that. This is the other side, the Brillo side. You can see those. Oh my goodness, we don't even want to look any closer at that. Um, here's some things that the kids discovered, that if you point this thing at the screen of an LCD, uh, like a digital camera or an iPod or cell phone, you get you can see the individual pixels working together to bring the image that appears on the back. That is cool. Same principle, of course, has been around a lot longer with CMYK print. Pointing this microscope at any color printing, you can see all how the inks work together to fool the eye to make the image. And that is really the magic of this thing. Now finally, there's the uh, fun of exploring a dollar bill. In this case, this is a, a $5 bill. And you can see that in the, the swirls on the side, the tiny words, $5. And on the other side, looking at the Lincoln Memorial, I can move around here and actually see Abraham Lincoln peeking out from between the pillars. And then moving on up, I can see the tiny names of the states engraved in the top of the Lincoln Memorial. You can see this with your naked eye, but really at 200 powers you can, you can really have fun. That's the only setting for this microscope, but it's enough to really give, you know, turn your television into something that is normally a, a passive a device into something that kids can use to explore things. And that, in my opinion, is a good use of technology. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.